Parsons here from Life More Extraordinary, the blog and the Facebook page all about study skills and getting into your dream university. So um, I've invited people along here today to watch this Facebook Live um, where I'm talking all about how to get the most out of your mocks. Now mock season is coming up, the first mocks will probably be in November just after half term and then various different schools hold them at different times over the coming months months. So some mocks will be in November, it's possible that some will be in December but I should think schools will um, try to err away from that because it's such a busy season with Christmas anyway and then there'll be some when straight when people go back in January and even maybe spreading into February. So this is all about mocks and how to get the most out of them. So if you're turning up and you're listening in I'd love you to say hi, say where you're um, watching from and whether you've got whether you're in year 11 or whether you've got a child who is in year 11 oh brilliant I've got a thumbs up there that's lovely to see so I've got a few points I want to make and if you've got any questions as we go through please just pop them hi Shola it's great to see you here thanks for turning up live um, yeah anybody else who wants to say hi just pop in and say that um, so um, yeah I've got a few points I want to make and if you've got questions as we go along just pop them in the um, comments and I will answer them either as we go or at the end depending on what's mo most appropriate to the flow of the um, talk that I'm giving today. Okay so the first tip I've got about how to make the most out of your marks is to treat them as a learning experience. So um, for most students, particularly in year 11, this will be the first time that they're really thinking seriously about their GCSEs. They might have done end of year exams or they, if they're at a private school or at a grammar school, they might have done things like the 11, 11 plus or the common entrance. But this is really where it starts getting serious. Um, but I don't want them to be put off by that. I want them to treat the mocks with curiosity about what really works for them in terms of learning and um, revising and actually how they approach the exams themselves. So you may have heard me talk in the past about growth mindsets and this treating your mocks as a learning experience is very much in the vein of having a growth mindset. So if you look at your mocks as you know, a time to learn, you're learning about what works for you in terms of revision, you're um, both in terms of um, revision techniques that you use, in terms of prioritization, in terms of how you get the balance right with the rest of your life and your other commitments. So for example, if you play rugby or you do gymnastics or trampolining or music or whatever it is, else it is that you do then you'll be able to see you know what is the right balance what keeps you sane <laughs> but what is actually necessary for you to be able to focus and actually get the most out of the exams um, so yeah learning about revision techniques learning about balance um, but then also reflecting on how it's gone once it's over and seeing what went well and what you could do better next time round um, and this is really particularly focusing on mistakes that you might have made. Now, a lot of people that I've spoken to through the course of teaching about study skills are really, really scared to make mistakes. And actually, mocks are a really good place to make mistakes because they are a learning ground, if you like. You, the school puts them on as like a trial run for you so that you can see whether they work, what works and what doesn't work. So don't be scared of taking, making mistakes and actually maybe taking some risks. So trying something different and something new from what you might have done in previous um, internal exams in the school. Um, and it, it can be really scary to take those risks and risk making mistakes, but actually you might learn a very great deal from doing that and that will feed into maybe your success. Hi Sally, it's great to have you here. Um, so yeah, I'm just saying that you need to learn from your mocks, so treat them as a learning experience and um, really focus on what you can learn from them but and not be scared to make mistakes because m 
it's good to make mistakes because we all learn much better from mistakes. Hi Kate, it's lovely to see you here as well. So yeah, learn from mistakes, treat mocks as a learning experience, learn about what revision methods work for you, learn about what revision schedules work for you, like how much time do you need to be focusing on your mocks to get really good results and how much time do you need to be taking out to keep yourself sane, what is the right balance there and how do you prioritise that and then learn from your mistakes, so really focus on um, what didn't go well and what you could do better next time round and I've actually got a blog post which I'll share afterwards which is all about exam season review and I think it's really um, worthwhile um, to think about how you can use these mock exams to think about what didn't go well and what you can do better next time round like actually the real things and this is something that I encourage everybody to do to kind of have an exam season review after every set of exams they take because that means that you continuously over time all through your school career keep improving on your performance in exams and really understanding better what works for you in terms of revision and learning and preparation and actually what you shouldn't be doing at all okay so that's um, treating your mocks as a learning experience. The second thing I want to do, it want to suggest, is that you treat them as if they are the real thing. Now, in some ways that's kind of in the spirit of treating them as a learning experience, but in other ways it's not. But the reason I want you to do this, treat them as if they're the real thing, is because then you get the most out of them. So you can see what you can squeeze out of yourself in terms of performance, in terms of revision, in terms of you know what is the quality that you can achieve in exams and what marks you can get and what grades you can get and if you treat them like they're the real thing you get a realistic expectation of what you are actually able to achieve okay and if this is all about getting your priorities right like this year year 11 um, and I'm talking mostly to people who are in year 11 here, is a really, really important year. And it is about getting that balance and those priorities right. And like I talked about when we were talking about treating them as a learning experience, you have to think about all the other things that are going on in your life and what you can cope with and what is going to help you to maintain your energy levels and your sanity, but what is not going to detract from actually getting the grades that you have the potential to get. So what I'm talking about, like yesterday I was in a school doing a talk and there were loads of guys who played rugby there and um, they were spending hours and hours and hours every week playing rugby and myself and the head of sixth form there were like well you really need to think about that because this is year 13 these students were in year 13 and um you know this is your a-level year and actually it's your one chance to get this right and if you don't take that chance seriously then um you know what are you going to do in the future you know even some of these guys were aiming to be professional rugby players and um you know, they may have been aiming for that, but one injury could have put them out of that career forever. And so they need their A-levels as a kind of fallback. So my big piece of advice here is to treat them like the real thing, but set your priorities right. And I'm all for getting out and doing some exercise and keeping up with your music or whatever it is. But so long as that is sustainable, with getting the right amount of revision done and I think it's healthy to do that but you just have to work on getting that balance right and if you're doing too much of the other stuff then you just won't have the hours in the weeks and the days to um, you know make the revision happen that is necessary okay the third point I've got is to focus on the feedback and this is really connected with treating your mocks like a learning experience. So you go through the process of the revision, then you sit the exams and then you get the marks back. So what I don't want you to focus on is the marks. What I want you to focus on is the feedback that you are given because the feedback is the golden information that is telling you what you need to do to improve from here. So for every single 
subject, once you've taken your marks, I want you to be really, really clear about what it is you need to improve on, what it is you need to do next in order to get closer to the grades that you actually want to achieve. So, um, you know, in, in English, it might be something to do with essay technique or your use of quotations. In maths, there might be a particular kind of topic area that you just haven't quite grasped and you know you need to go away and do some focus on that so you really need to focus on the feedback and what I would encourage you to do is once you've got the feedback from every subject is kind of write yourself down a target of something that you want to really improve on over the next month or six weeks or so and really really focus in on getting that thing right and the thing you should choose as the target is the thing that is going to make the most difference when it comes to the GCSE exam so for some people that might just be memorizing content for other people it might be something to do with exam techniques so how you structure your answer to the questions, how well you understand the mark schemes and um, what the examiners are actually looking for. So um, it's focusing on the feedback and from the feedback developing a target so that you can move forward in a very, very focused way, knowing what you need to improve on and really focusing on that over the coming weeks and months leading up to GCSEs. So thank you so much for coming along today. Please feel free to share this, tag people in it, do whatever to spread the word and um, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.